Hi friends, you are about to witness a fierce battle between the United States and Chinese provinces in terms of nominal GDP. In other words, we are going to compare the economies of the top 30 regions of the United States and China in pairs. We start with Iowa with a GDP of $207 billion, Ningxia province produces only $75 billion. Here, the round is definitely in favor of the United States. Let's move on. Kentucky is in 29th place, which is also ahead of its rival Hainan. By the way, above you can see a comparison of the economies of these regions with other countries. We continue the battle at a faster pace. Twenty-third position in the ranking, the Chinese province is ahead of its counterpart for the first time. Small Hong Kong has about as strong an economy as the entire state of Wisconsin. The Beijing district produces 619 billion in nominal GDP, which is almost equal to the volumes of the state of Virginia and the whole of Sweden. Another round for China. Hunan province is almost $30 billion ahead of Georgia. Florida and Zhejiang surpass the $1 trillion mark in nominal GDP. The US is widening its gap with China. New York State is in third place, which is almost one and a half times more powerful than Shandong Province. Texas exceeds $2 trillion in nominal GDP. By the way, if the city of Shanghai were not a separate district, but was part of the province of Jiangsu, it would be the eighth largest economy in the world, between Italy and France. California and Guangdong complete our battle. The leader of America is almost twice as fast as the leader of China. In total, as you can see, the top 30 states of America are more than $3 trillion ahead of the top 30 provinces of China. That's all for now. I hope the video was useful for you and you were able to better understand how powerful and influential the economies of the United States and China are. Subscribe and see you soon.